Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, in the last video, we discussed about math input and math select. Today, we'll look further into uh, the math input certain features like math hint, math error in advance, and also we'll look into math button as well. So, first, we'll look into math button. Okay. So, this is uh, the link for more description about math button. First, we'll, I will show, a, show you a demo on how to use math button. Okay, so we have the application here up and running in localhost 4200 and this is our code. Okay, now we will add a normal button. Okay, and we will give a test say submit submit and on clicking it we we'll call the submit method so we will define the submit method in our ts suppose we copy this and paste it here console.log So here you can see a normal HTML button. Let's put a line break here. So I'm adding a line break. So it will go into the next line. Okay. So here if we open the console and when we click this, we can see that submitted is console. Okay. So now we need a mat, mat button instead of normal HTML button. So for that, we need to first import the bat button module. So we'll import the mat button module from Angular material. So for, we need to import in, it in our app module.ts. Okay. So here, just like the mat input module, we will import the mat button module. So we have imported the mat button module now. Now, next step is to add this directive, mat button and color primary, okay, to our normal HTML button. And if we save, now it is compiling actually. It's compiled successfully and we can see this is the matte button so there are a few style effects now there for the button okay so this is actually an advantage of using matte button it has inbuilt styles okay now we have given the name class uh, as primary so if we give to danger then we can see the change here see the color change okay primary accent one we can give a one class okay. one. now if we check the color of the submit button change the test color change to red so this indicates a warning message or an alert to the user so all these cool features are available in the mat button okay so you can go through these if you need more okay so if we need a raised button okay in that case what we can do is we can go to this particular example okay so i am going to this example in stackbox 
where we can see multiple demos of each and every component of angular material so to have a raise button we can we need to just add this directive here so here my raised and i will view primary as the color so here when we change save it we can see now it has a background color as well and the color is primary that's why it's blue so if we give it one then it will change to red okay so for a time being we'll use the primary only okay So we are getting an error here. So we need to import a schema. Okay. The schema is coming from Angular code. So if we save this now, okay, we are getting another error. So for that, we need to compile it again. So after compilation, we can see no errors. So I just restarted the command npm run start. Just restarted the server, our local server. And if we go to our page and refresh, we see it's working perfectly. Now, last thing is to show or demo about mat error. Okay, so to demonstrate that, we can create a form using reactive forms okay for that first we need to import the reactive forms module into our root module then we will import this in the imports array after that what we can do we need to wrap this inside a div the entire thing and we will declare a form to okay so we need to define declare it first here form which is of type form Group. Okay. Then we need the constructor and we will inject the form builder. Then we will implement the ng on it. cycle hook so for that we need to implement the ng on method here we will initialize the form okay so for sake i have already created the, the snippet for this so i'll just paste it here okay so what we have done is and the last name email and gender and we have given empty values for first name last name and email and also the gender it we are the we are giving null uh, empty values for each of the form control okay now we need to define the form control name in our html so for that we can use this okay so in the html for each input we will give 
we have it as a form control so the value which we give here should be exactly the same what we define it here the first name and the name which we give here should match exactly and the form and the form form group which is declared should match okay now instead of consoling this what we can do we can print the form value I will save this so it's compiled properly now if we go to our HTML and if we open the console on clicking submit we can see the form value here okay. if I give a name a note last name Maria email a note uh, Maria at gmail.com and gender if I am selecting mail and if I submit you can see the form value printed here okay now let's play around this reactive forms much more and we can bring into certain validation we can bring into validation in place okay so what we need is the first name it should be a mandatory field first name email and gender should be mandatory so for that we have given the validators when we declared the form group so we have declared that it's required and its minimum length is to be 2 for the first name then email is required and gender as well it's required so for to show the user a friendly user friendly message if something goes wrong if the form went invalid we can make use of the mat error so we'll give the user a meaningful info say hey the first name is required okay so first name is required so when to show this message ng if form dot Christine and form of dirty we can give dirty and form dot get dot first name dot value dot length equal to equal to zero in that case we will display this message first name is required also we can show a hint message okay. so let's save and see how it looks like Okay, so it's showing there is a spelling mistake. So if you see there is a hidden message for the user, a meaningful message like first name is mandatory. So when the user clicks, I know yeah, it looks fine. But as soon as I remove all the test, it will show an error message first name is required and all the test underlines everything goes correct so this is the typical usage of an mat error so just like for email also we can give an error message so mat error i will copy this if mat 
length equal to zero. We can gain a mail is required. So we have saved. I'm entering my name, my last name. Now I am entering a new at gmail.com and I'm selecting. So everything is fine here. As soon as I remove this, see it becomes dirty. So here we need to keep email instead of first. So that's why the message was not being shown. So here we find this see email is required. So it's showing an error message. So the user will be user will be having a good user experience when we have these hint messages and error messages. Okay. Now we will do one more trick, a trick. So we will enable the submit button only if the form is valid. So for that, what we can do, we can define a method. Okay. So I have this code. I will copy the snippet here. Okay. So the enable method, enable submit uh, button method will return a boolean. So it will return true if the form is valid, else it will return false. So the button should be disabled if form is invalid. Okay. So what we have done, we have added a disabled attribute and if enable submit button returns a true value, it will enable as it, it, it will disable the button. So, so let's see how it looks like. Okay. So initially, when we see the button is disabled, if we click, there is no console message here. So now I will enter my first name, my last name, okay, then my email, gmail.com, and I select a gender. So now the button is enabled, and if we click, the form value is printed in the console. As soon as I remove my email, when I clear the test there, it will be disabled because the email is actually required. So the form is dirty and the submit button is disabled. Hope you enjoyed the video. So what all things we learned here? We have learned how to use mat button. Then we saw what mat hint is, what mat error is. So what is the advantage of using this mat error so it will give the user a good experience it will show what the error is it will give the user a hint using mat hint we can give the user a hint about the input he is going to enter okay and also we discussed about reactive forms how to use reactive forms so there are a lot of concepts in reactive forms but I can't incorporate everything into this video or this tutorial. So we'll have another playlist for reactive forms and many other interesting topics. Thank you. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe and share to all of your friends and recommend this course. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.